the flow analysis extension for the chart software can be used for analyzing flow analysis data. This can be downloaded freely from the EDAC website. If you go to www.edac.com, click on the flow analysis section. And if we move down, we can see we can download this extension from the uh, chart extension download page. It's here. And in order to download this, you'll need to register with the EDAC website. Uh, you put your name and password. Click OK. And you can download the uh, FIA flow analysis extension from here. You download this. Here's the user guide in here, which you should download as well. Once you've downloaded this, uh, double click to install. This is data showing some peaks, and I'm going to use this data to show you how you use the flow analysis extension. In the Windows menu, there's now a flow analysis option. Here are my peaks, and to add a peak, I simply move the cursor to the start of the peak. I press and hold the mouse button, and I move the mouse to the right to the end of the peak. Now the software has uh, integrated that peak, and it's calculated the uh, height of the peak and the area in here. And I'm going to go and head and do this for the remaining peaks. You move to the start of the peak, press and hold the mouse button and move to integrate the peak. Okay, so I've done that for the five peaks. You can expand the x-axis using these buttons here. Now for this example, I'm going to pretend that peaks one, two and three my calibration standards. At the moment all the peaks have set to S which is samples so I'm going to go ahead and click peaks 1 to 3 as calibration standards. The software marks them pink to show that they're calibration standards. In here you can type in the amount, the uh, concentration of those standards. So for this I'm going to pretend it's 34 ppm 73 ppm and this one will be 120 ppm if we go to here it shows the calibration curve showing my free calibration standards in here and what the software does automatically here it's calculated the concentration of my two sample peaks 66.9 and 63.4. You have options here, settings. At the moment uh, the analysis is being done by peak height. I can also analyze by peak area. If I analyze by peak area, basically it's uh, slightly modified the concentrations of my two sample peaks. 